How do you spell your name? T-Y-L-E-R. T-Y-L-E-R. Can you sing ABC for everyone? A, B, C, D, E, S, G, H, I, J, K, N, O, O, P, T, R, S, T, U, V, Double S, Y, N, Z. Now I know my ABC. Won't you come and sing with me? Now, if you're the one that's been disliking my video, shame on you. How can you dislike this video because of this boy? You want to tell everyone what happened to your eye? Yeah. What happened to your eye? Did you fall down? Yeah. Well, put the mic here so it's closer together. How's that? Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Say, bring me up, Scotty. Bring me up, Scotty. And I'm Tyler. I'm Tyler. Yes. Now, I'm sweating because... I had to carry Tyler all the way up to the office. So don't mind me. Wipe the banana cracker off your lips with my sweat. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me introduce myself to everyone. So what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and this is... Tyler. Yeah, finally got him down here in the office. You know, I'm not supposed to actually be filming right now. I'm just here to do some unboxing and new shipment just arrived. But I figured this has all been set up. Might as well look at this while Tyler is here. And what are we looking at? The dragon dance, huh? So ladies and gentlemen, this is Legos 80102 Dragon Dance Chinese Festival Special Edition. I don't know, it's only released here in Asia. Sorry for you guys out there worldwide, but I'm sure you can find it. You know, it's marked up right now, but just give it some time. And you know, some people have asked me if I can get stock of this and it might be possible but it'll be really limited kind of like the oxford stuff i'll let you guys know when that happens and some of you have been requesting to hold it so i'll hold it i'll try to get my hands on it i'll let you guys know and there's another set too i'll review that one later after this one yeah what's good about this parrot. there's no parrot on here what are you talking about can you show the people how it works what does it do yeah yeah look at that it goes up and down. Pretty cool, huh? What do you like about it? Perfect. As Tyler showed you, it goes up and down. It's fun for the kids. Look, Tyler hasn't even destroyed it yet. It's pretty rad how they did it though. The way they designed it was pretty interesting. You play with it. It shows again, see, it's not gonna fall apart on you. It's really well built, huh? Okay, what do you want to say about it? That one. Yeah, what's that? Parrot. That's not a parrot. Why are you always saying a parrot? And what's actually pretty cool is the way they designed this dragon on top, right? Look at his ears. His ears are scorpions and frogs. That is crazy. What color is the dragon? Red. And? And yellow. And? And that one. Yeah, what color is that? Color is that? Orange, huh? And orange. Do you like the colors? Yes. Oh, I love the colors of this too. It's very Chinese themed, Chinese New Year. It's pretty well done. I like the face. You like the face? The dragon's face? Yes. Yeah, the mouth can open and close, huh? I like the gold eyebrows and the gold piece that hangs on the side of his mouth. Do you like that? Yes. You can also move the dragon's head up or down. It's up to you. You want him to growl and be like, brah, blows fire out. Well, can't really do that. The top row here is actually pretty repetitive, but it's kind of cool how they designed it. I like, I do like the little orange hearts. That's actually pretty cool how they put that on there. I do like the little scales along the top and the printing on these. each one of these is really nice. Cool gold and yellow pieces. And of course you got the little tail at the end here. And what's actually really cool is you can adjust all these pieces. You know, adjust the tail, you can kind of put the scales straight if you wanted to. It's really up to you. And of course you can see all the minifigures here. We have five minifigures that come with the set. And look at the lovely little testicles that hang down on the bottom. Don't learn that word from me, okay? Yes. Yeah. So, so many. <laughs> eh? But look, these little sack, ball sacks again. Why do they always have to use these pieces? But anyway, it's decorative and you know, it's, it's dangling there. Uh, you want a bite of another banana cracker? Give yeah. you more energy? We need more energy, man, Tyler. Come on, you gotta, you're on camera here, man. You gotta get the people excited. When it's going up and down, the little ball on the front or the lantern actually moves too. That's really neat. So while the lantern does spin, this piece doesn't go up and down. So your minifigure is just actually gonna hold it and you know, you just position where you want to put it while the rest just go up and down. What's really cool is they separated the build. So you actually build the boxing here or this this place down first. And then these things on top come in last. So look, it's so easy to pull them all off. Look at that. Yeah. 
Papa wants to show them the box. I think the box is actually more fun than the dragon part. I have to remember what order this is. No, it doesn't really matter. There. So you build that first, and you can see you're like, oh, it's not gonna do anything. And then you just stick those little things in, and it works. For this display stand thing, it's actually pretty cool. I like the look of it. I like how they put little feet down below, so it stands nicely on your shelf. I like how they use the little gold windows there on both sides, they both look the same. And this little pattern here, that's kind of cool. It looks like a, a snake, yeah, Tyler? What do you like about this? What do you want to tell everyone about this box? Uh, pivot. Why did you always saying parrot? There's no parrot here. Okay, while I'm here, let's dissect this thing, right? So I'm gonna pull all these off. So this is what it looks like without anything on it. Pretty basic, but it's a very solid piece of block. So I like that. And just to show you a little bit of the inside here, let's just drop this out and show you guys. I had it kind of pre-prepped, but this is what's happening. So those things are actually going, those little sticks are going into there and just get blocked off. So the mechanism underneath is actually just pushing it up. It's very, very simple, but yet very effective. Just drop it in there and you're good to go. Let me tear down this wall for you. Am I going to regret this? Probably. As you can see on the inside, you can see a couple of those Technic pieces are going up. They're opposite directions of each other. That's why some are going up and some are going down. And it just repeats all across there. This one doesn't go up and down, just goes spinning left to right. The great thing about being able to pull these sticks out is you can actually totally do your own design. You don't actually have to put a dragon here. Isn't that neat? Why not have some trees there? Or maybe someone running away from something? I don't know why I'm sounding so dark, but you know, you can change this whole thing up. That's the greatest thing about Lego, man. Drag in here, head here first, push him down. Very simple. Okay, that's the wrong place though, but that's okay. Oh, good job, you got most of it on. You put the tail the wrong side though, put the tail here on the end, there. Luckily, they're all exactly the same, so it doesn't matter where they go. No, don't pull that out, that's not, that's not a Lego piece. Here, you can pull this one out, this is Lego. Tyler's over this already. I'm the only one that's into it right now, look at that. Okay, while you're working on that, we'll talk about the first minifigure here with the that's holding the lantern. It's a piggy. Yeah, what an awesome costume. It's Year of the Pig. I guess he's the leader of this pack telling the guys to go up and down and up and down. So for the other four minifigures, you got two that look the same. Actually, they're in pairs, right? So you got two that have the same top headband. Just the faces are different. The outfits are exactly the same. And you got two more there with the bandanas. They're wearing the same outfit. I really, really like them. And the headpieces are actually pretty cool too. Really different design. Hits dimension time. Here's my 32 by 32. By width, this thing is eight studs. By width, by length, it is actually over 32. If I put this here, I have to get a second base plate. Put this here right against it. Just so you know, that is 36 studs in length. Let's check out the height. Okay, here's my one by four bricks. So if you have yours, measure this up together. And just so you know, the dragon's head is at the highest point. His ear is pointed up and the tail as well. And it is just 19, 19 bricks. If I were to put up the tail, let's put up the tail and see what happens. Oh, is it gonna knock it over? Boom, it just goes over 19. Yeah, it's around 19 bricks. So there you go, useless dimensions or maybe it's useful for you. Go and measure your space and see if this is good for your table display. So there it is, that's Lego's Dragon Dance. I love the concept, I love this idea. I wanna see more of this kind of stuff. I love the mechanical part of it too. It's really awesome. Kids can play with it, it's not gonna fall apart as you saw, Tyler's moving it around. All right, you guys, until next time, pick me out. Tyler, can you say that? Pick me out. Tell them you love Lego. Love Lego. You love Lego. Okay, that's Aloha. You want to show everyone? Show everyone. Show, show on here, on this camera. Okay? Go Aloha, Shaka. 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 In case you don't know, I have family that lives in Hawaii, Kauai. So that's why he's doing the Aloha sign. And we're actually going there at the end of the month. Bicycle. Bicycle. I want to ride my bicycle. 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 Right, baby. Tyler, how old are you? Two. Don't, don't, don't touch the microphone. It'll make noise if you touch it and it'll scare everybody. And what do you have all over your lips? Cracker. Cracker. What kind of cracker? Banana cracker. Banana cracker. I wish I love banana cracker. Do you finish the banana cracker already? There's no more. It's trash.
podcast. And this video was brought to you by Plum Organics Mighty Snack Bar. Not really, but Tyler loves this stuff. This is a pumpkin banana bar. You like it, huh? Tell everyone, I love it. Love it. Plum Organic, please send more to us. Blow kiss, blow kiss to them. And go like this. And give them a big hug. That's pretty good. We will, we will rock you. Sing it. We will, we will rock you. Buddy, you're a boy, make a big noise, playing on the street, gonna be a big man someday. You got mud on your face, you big disgrace, kicking your can all over the place. Okay, we gotta keep talking about the set, man. We keep drifting off on here. No, I'm not gonna sing it. You're the singer. Show them your sad face. Show them your happy face. Big smile. I love you guys. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to like. Comment. Comment. Subscribe. Subscribe. And we'll catch you later. Catch you later. See you in the next video. See you next video. You're close enough.